I wrote down a long mantra. So it's basically, yeah, it's basically a page long mantra. <laughs> so it's more of a guided meditation, but I wrote it down. Um, and I'm going to guide you through this. I might do it two or three times, depending a little bit on the timing, how long it takes to read this. But for you, I just want you to receive the words and see if you can resonate with the declaration that I'm inviting you to make to yourself, to your own inner power, to your own true self, to your own honor in life, to your own capacity for awakening, for empowerment, and so forth. I want to invite you into a much more powerful realm of being, of free will, of consciousness, that is unlike what you see around you in humanity slash cornflakes way of thinking, society, collective agreements, and so forth. You can rise above all this stuff without being better than anyone. It's just, why would you choose to be part of such a scattered, muddy, unclear, not self-knowing way of thinking? Just don't buy into it anymore. And I want you to use this as inspiration, as a declaration to yourself to gather your will, to do what you came here to do and to be who you came here to be. We already are in truth. Okay. So take a deep breath or two. Hold. And hold. Hold. And hold. One more time. Hold. And breathe when you have to. Okay. So close your eyes and picture yourself in this new light. Okay. This is your declaration to yourself. This is a cornerstone in this retreat. One of the first of a few where you're declaring something to yourself that's going to change your life forever, not just for this life. It's going to change the way you channel your soul into whatever life you choose after this life too. This is a cosmic game, my friends. You've been around for a while. Trust me on that or don't. Either way, this declaration will change your life. So internally, follow my words and kind of say them to yourself internally. And I will send this to you guys later so you can repeat it. Um, and of course, this recording, you can put on repeat a few times in the next 48 hours and whenever you feel like it. A declaration is powerful, though. A declaration is a change. It's a shift in identity. So relax. Be receptive for meditation. Be receptive for this communication to your higher self as you make this declaration to yourself. I declare to myself and the universe, that I will notice when I allow myself to indulge in lesser thoughts that lack faith and focus. I realize that when I allow my attention to get lost in scattered or fear-based thoughts, that I am the one who is allowing the power of my attention to create pain, dis-ease, corruption of my honor, weakness and destruction for myself those around me and the planet at large. 
allowing myself to follow negative, judgmental, faithless and sloppy thoughts about people, things, worldly events, or myself, removes me farther from my alignment with my own soul and weakens my power. The consequences of sloppy distraction are much greater and much worse than I realized. Just because most other humans live mentally sloppy lives does not make it okay, normal or healthy for me to do the same. I see this now and seeing this greatly increases my desire to decide to take full responsibility for where my attention wanders. And I vow to gather my will back to my inner center of focus, faith, and alignment with my soul by simply and powerfully ignoring the temptations offered to me by negative or scattered thoughts. I will simply say, thank you, but no thank you, to lesser thoughts and ideas which I picked up from my society. I was not born with weak thoughts or sloppy inspirations. I was born pure and strong, and all negative thinking has been taught to me by other sloppy human minds who were taught by yet other sloppy human minds, and so on. The cycle breaks here with me today. I will exercise my power of will often by deliberately ignoring lesser thoughts more frequently so I can ascend to higher frequencies, attain greater insights, create stronger well-being, and utilize higher states of consciousness. I will exercise my ability to focus on my own sense of presence, or anything beneficial I decide to hold my attention on, and I will ignore everything else that does not fit in with my desired state of focus, realization, and manifestation. When I catch myself in a moment of weak-minded thinking and fear-based temptations, I will remember my freedom and power of will. In this way, I will heal and empower myself to infinite ends and benefit the world through my faith and my focus. I determine that from this day onwards, I will no longer tolerate myself believing in lesser thoughts and instead focus on being present, centered, fearless, honorable, and in full trust of the universe. I believe in my power to gather and guide my own free will. And I honor and exercise that ability and responsibility daily. I am able to concentrate on whatever it is I choose to focus on that I know will bring benefit to myself and others. I am no longer allowing myself to believe that I am weak-minded and that weak-minded thoughts are normal or that the way other human minds choose to live is the way that it is or the way that reality works. I realize now that my reality is purely a reflection and manifestation of my own intention, focus, and will. I find great joy in knowing that I can decide to train my intention, focus, and will to match my soul's true desire for being here. My will is my own, and I alone determine what I choose to think, believe, focus on, and therefore create for myself in this world. I am free will. I am free will. I am free will.